Let's take a look at how to predict the binding affinity of a small molecule to a protein using BOLTS2 in Chimera X. So let's bring up the BOLTS prediction tool. Let me put it on top of the log to save a little space. I'm going to paste in the protein, the sequence of the protein that I'm interested in. I'll copy and paste that. This is the measles methyl transferase. So I'll press the Add button to add it to our prediction. So it transfers a methyl group from S adenosylmethionine, one ligand, to the, an RNA cap. So let's add those two, small those two molecules. So the um, methyl donor, it's three-letter code SAM. And for the RNA cap, I'll use two guanosines separated by three phosphates. And the three-letter code for that is GTG. So let's add those two as ligands. And now to predict the binding affinity, let's, let's predict the binding affinity of the RNA cap. Uh, I go under options and it says predict binding, binding affinity. We'll s select our RNA cap and let's predict five structures instead of one. So uh, I press predict. It's now going to take a couple minutes. This is on a Mac M2 Ultra. You can do these predictions on Mac, Windows, or Linux. When the prediction's finished, we'll come back. Okay, so Bolt's made the five predictions. They automatically appear in Chimera X. Let's align them with the Chimera X matchmaker command. Align four of them to the first one. You see the coloring is the standard alpha fold coloring. So blue is where Bolt's is confident of the prediction, yellow and orange less confident. Uh, let me um, let me simplify the depiction a little bit. I've colored the protein tan, and I show just one of the five predictions, the protein, since they're all similar. Um, I hid the protein side chains, too, to simplify. And now we can see the two ligands. The methyl donor is in blue, blue and yellow here. And you see the five predictions all have the same pose. The RNA cap structure, uh, two guanines connected by phosphates, um, you see it produced five different poses, and orange, so pretty low confidence. But let's take a look at what the affinity prediction is from Bolts. We go to the log. If I scroll back up here, it says the ligand for the RNA cap, uh, ligand affinity, it predicts is 0.38 micromolar. So despite it's having kind of low confidence in the pose, um, it predicts a relatively strong binding affinity. Okay, I looked at some other methyl transferase structures from viruses and fungi, and a number of them have vitamin B6 bound. And so I was curious what it would look like if we threw uh, vitamin B6 into this prediction. So let me add that. The uh, three-letter code for uh, vitamin B6 phosphate, that's the active form, is PLP. Add, let's predict the binding of that uh, that vitamin B6 as well. And I press predict. This will take uh, another couple minutes to predict. Um, the reason I'm interested in this is the methyl transfer transferase uh, adds the methyl to RNA transcripts. And um, that's necessary for their stability and for their translation. So if you could block that in some way, you could knock down the measles virus. So let's come back when the prediction with the vitamin B6 is done. Okay, the five predictions with the vitamin B6 have finished. Let me uh, align them. I'll hide the previous predictions. I'll align these and simplify the display a bit like I did before by showing just one copy of the protein in brown. Uh, and we see our uh, methyl donor and we see our RNA cap in orange. And this yellow part is the um, is the vitamin B6. Let me try to make that clearer by um, coloring it differently. Say color PLP was the name of that residue. Um, say magenta. Oops. Magenta. Okay, so you see the, the vitamin B6 in these predictions, all, all five predictions, is interposed between the uh, methyl donor and the cap. 
and that seems like it would be promising um, and blocking the methyl transferase. But let's take a look at the affinity prediction. So we'll go to the log, and we see the, uh, the affinity prediction for the vitamin B6 is 59 micromolar. Uh, so this is more than 100 times weaker binding than both predicted for the mRNA cap. And so it seems not, if you believe these numbers, it's not very plausible that the B6 is going to be interposed between the cap and the methyl donor here. Uh, but you shouldn't actually trust these affinity predictions, nor should you trust the poses, the predicted poses from Boltz or alpha fold 3. Um, the poses and the affinity for ligands is rather hit or miss in those prediction programs. And instead, you might use the prediction programs just to explore ideas and then ideas that you would possibly test by experiment later. Thanks for listening.